Hi, I'm Shaima Ali and I'm Director of Offering Strategy in the UK and Ireland. And I'm Chris Pillsbury, I'm Director of Client Service for the UK and Ireland. So together we manage the umbrella term that is information offerings. Uh, and that includes three key component parts and it has a feedback loop. So essentially, um, my team manages the supply of data and that data covers um, the, the kind of drug from manufacturing all the way to it being prescribed at patient level. We then package that data into data cuts of products that we then hand over to Chris's team. So the client service team take that information and deliver it to our clients um, as either reports, um, dashboards um, or as services. And our life sciences customers take that information and use it in a variety of business processes. Um, so anything from tracking the uptake of medicines, um, monitoring the product flow through the supply chain, um, and even forecasting demand for medicines um, within the UK market. Um, the client service team then are responsible for ensuring that our clients are getting the maximum use out of that data as possible. Um, and with the increasingly complex supply chain, um, it's really important that they understand how that data is captured and collected so they can make the right business decisions from that. Our information offerings are really key across our business. Um, so we utilise some of our hospital information, for example, to identify sites for clinical trials. Um, we also use some of our patient level information to inform real world studies um, in order for pharmaceutical manufacturers to um, demonstrate the value of their medicines to, to kind of payers and providers. So the point around clinical research is really um, exciting right now. So in the NHS at the moment, there's a huge appetite and interest to drive clinical research into the NHS as a mainstream practice. And we are working, we are becoming the, the kind of glue and the collaborator partner between life sciences and the industry and key stakeholders, as well as the NHS. And that can be at regional levels, it can be at individual hospital trust type levels, but for us, it makes our work really rewarding.